Born in a small town called Bentyville in South Carolina, Brianna wants nothing more than to escape her overprotective mom and her nosy neighbors. She applied to UNC Chapel Hill behind her mom's back, which her mom was against. She hoped her mom would support her, but instead, they had a big fight. Bree didn't know this would be the last time she would speak to her mom. Three months after her mother's death, Bree and her best friend Alice attend UNC Chapel Hill. On their first night, Bree can't stop thinking about her mom and decided to attend a party which is very unlike her. The party gets out of hand and Brie can only think about how to contain her alter ego, which first appeared after her mom died. She thinks of her as after Brie. Then Brie sees Self fight a creature using magic. He tries to erase her memory but it didn't work. She realizes she's seen this kind of magic before. So, on her first night at the school, she gets into trouble, sees what she shouldn't see, and hears what no one's born should hear. Is that magic? Since law enforcement had to get involved, her dean has no choice but to provide her with a mentor, and she is left with a strike toward expulsion. Ending her first day unfocused, Brie finally meets with her new mentor, Nick. He is persistent about her having fun. On their way back to her dorm, they see another creature, a hellhound, and instead of running from it, she runs toward it and is badly injured. Nick kills the hellhound. Demons, magic, and ether. She finds out all these are real while she recovers in their secret society house with the help of Nick and their healer William. She can't help but think her mom's death had something to do with everything that happened since she knows her memory was tempered with the night of her mother's accident, as well as the night of the party and during her recovery by Nick's king's mage cell but it didn't work on her. She decided to go undercover as a page to determine if her mother's death was intentional. But it won't be easy since the legend born are testing the pages in a series of trial. Joining the order is more challenging than she thought. Even with Nick, now her boyfriend, helping her to find the truth and Cell keeps calling her a demon in human form. More gates are opening with increased shadow born attack and more squires are awakening with great power and strength. If all 13 Seons awaken, they will start to deadly war with shadow born, called a Camlan. She also find out her mother had a secret. She was wild crafter who could manipulate root craft magic, and she despised the legend born. Bree's dad gives her a necklace that belonged to her mother, which tells her about root craft. During the annual selection gala, Nick, who turns out to be King Arthur's descendant and next in line to the throne, picks Bree as his squire, which is surprising since Bree has just joined the order. This act enrages his father, Lord Martin Davis, who has Bree kidnapped and uses Alice to threaten her. He tells Bree to stay away from Nick and that he plans to awaken Nick and let Arthur dominate him by opening the gates. But the love Bree has for Nick doesn't let her give up. She intends to save Nick from his unstable father. They fight their way toward the Sword of Excalibur. To everyone's surprise, Nick cannot pull it free. Instead, 
Arthur chooses Bree when she pulls the sword from the stone, and Nick is called. But by Lancelot, with Arthur's power, they defeat the demon. It turned out Bree wasn't the demon Cell claimed her to be, but a boy named Ewan, who was also a squire in her chapel. So many of her friends were lost during her awakening by Arthur. After the fight, Bree collapses, and when she awakes, she learns that Nick's dad has taken Nick into hiding. Cell swears they find Nick and calls Bree his king. Now she is the king. She must pick between Nick or being the king of the legend bones and fighting beside them during the Camelot. She is still determining what the future holds for her and her mission, but she does know that her mother's death was an accident, and now with the help of her ancestor she can learn more about being a root crafter and her powers.